Hey, guess what? We got another unit. It's our first unit, finally, of 2023. You want to know what we got? Hey, let's go take a look. But don't forget to subscribe. It's free. Look at this. This is what we got today. We got a tool unit here. Um, and we got this for $640. We're wondering if we can make a profit. I could see in the pictures back there, you can see the tools hanging out. Look at what we got here. So this is the excitement of this whole thing is what's in the toolbox. So let's take a look up here. We got tools, sockets, these, this is Craftsman. Yep, Craftsman tools. Look at that. Oh, oh, oh my God, we're finding money already. Do you see this? <laughs> I mean, wow, this thing's loaded with money and change. More tools, look at that, tools. So that was my concern, like were these empty or did they have tools in them? And you can see Craftsman. Look down here, we got, this is pneumatic. It is Ingersoll Rand. We also have, wow, this thing has got some weight to it. Vapor, this is a heavy duty buffer here, wow. Polisher. What's this? Fix it tool. Hmm. Look at that. Now, one thing we know is tools do sell, so needless to say, we have a tool sale coming up. This is a uh, for your timing light for your, your car, so we got it looks like a lot of mechanic tools here. Oh wow, we got tons of pneumatic. This is Central Pneumatic, so that's Harbor Freight. Um, that's a Sears Air Drive. What is this? Um, just says Air Cut Tool. Oh, Central Pneumatic. Central Pneumatic. Here's a Husky. So yeah, it's Harbor Freight, but it still sells. There's nothing wrong with that. Down here we got a Black and Decker Heat and Strip Run. Um, we got a circular saw. That's a steel saw. So, yeah, we got tools, and we're going to have tools for days. All right. So that's a good sign right there, seeing that. Um, look, we got a bench grinder. What's in the cabinet? Oop, shop towels. <laughs> Oh wow, so we got a whole nother toolbox to still go through. We got tools on the floor. What do we have here? What do we have? Let's see. These are just like little electrical connectors. So, anything good in here? That's in. What do we have over here? But the toolbox is sell. Even though it's empty, what we do is well, that's broken, so we won't do with that. But usually if we get an empty toolbox, what we'll do is we'll load it up with some tools and put in our online auction. So we got some parts here. Yep, some fuses. So that's a little hardware parts. What do we got? This is a port pump. So that's got some things in it. This toolbox is still in. It's Husky, not a bad name. Um, it's not Craftsman, but it'll still work. Look, we got a Craftsman wet dry bag, and there's the holes back there, which by the way, I didn't talk about the clothes. We'll get into that in a second. What do we have in here? Check it out. Tape measure. We got some tools down here, so. Random tool lot. This is, ooh, this is actually a gas heater. I can see the gas cord down here. So, you know, um, right now here in Ohio, it's snowing. So somebody probably could use that. Oh, ho, oh, oh, oh. yep. ho, Can't forget about that. 
can't forget about that. Yeah. What do we have? These bumpers are buffers are um well state well stanton. Okay. So we got two of those there. What else we have? What else do we have? Well, at least it's canned food mainly, but we found some food. Yeah. What else do we have here? More food. Yep. So, so we got canned food. We'll see if any of it's good or outdated. Um, if it's not outdated, then we'll donate it. Oh, we got a hear that that sounds like something's in it I'm not sure now there's no power but we'll have to test these these go in our online sale now we'll get into this and we got a couple cases here I saw those in the pictures but what do we have in here some glassware oh, that's broken but this is interesting. Oh, and I don't have my black light, but I'm sure when we get back to the warehouse, Lisa's going to want to test that. Uh, what's this? This actually says on it, I don't think it's silver, but it looks almost like it could have been sterling silver, but it's not. Um... Well, we got a couple other pieces down here, so let's look. Let's see if we can figure out what all we have in here. Ooh, look at that piece. It's no marking though, so it's not it's not silver. This says tarnish resistant, but again, it's from Japan though, so that means it's vintage. <laughs> you don't generally find stuff from Japan nowadays. And the rest is either another candle holder that's not broken. So and let's see what's in here. It's kind of funny. I go and I forget my knife sometimes. But ironically, there's tools in this unit. Oh, wow. Look at that tool set. It's broken, but I mean, there's still a lot of good stuff in here. I mean, even broken this thing to sell. I would figure we'll probably at least get about 10, 20 bucks out of this minimum easily. Oh, ratcheting wrenches. So, yeah, we sell broken sets all day. Uh, what's in here? Do we have something in here? Let's look. Ready? What do you think? I. I think there's going to be something in there. I Not think sure it's what, going to be a, a oh, reciprocal saw. Ooh. Let's see. Ha <laughs> ha, there it is. Milwaukee Sawzall. Milwaukee is a good brand. We'll have to test that and make sure it works. But there's your reciprocal saw right there. Very nice. All right. How's this one feel? Oh, man. Whew. You hear that? All right. Let's see what's in this one. Oh, oh. Wow. Well, we gotta make sure it's got all the parts, but this is probably heavy duty. It's uh, double insulated, it says on the back. It's Bosch. And it definitely looks vintage. Wow. But, oh, here we are. Here's some bits. There we go. So we got some bits right there. Tell you people, tools sell, tools sell. So we had to go ahead and get this one. What is it here? Well, besides, you know, some seasonings. Oh, we were looking for some. No, was that garlic salt? No, no, that was celery salt. We were looking for it the other day. My bad. <laughs> um, we got some empty paint cans. Oh, I don't know if they're empty. No, they're not empty, but paint cans. Whoa. Besides the husky, look at this thing. This is what, um, 33 gallon air compressor? Wow, that'd be nice to check out when we get home or back to the warehouse. So it's just a belt, but what is, look at this. 
Now it says Samsonite on that. The question is, is there a camera in here? What's, what do we have in here? What is this? Yep, it's a camera. Look at that. It's a Canon. And what is it? It's a Canon PC1058. So we'll have to look and see what that account for. Because that could be something easily put on. This whole thing could easily go in our um, auction or go on eBay. Either way it goes. So it's a power shot. There we go. So we even got the directions for it, the manual. Always want one of these, but the thing you got to keep in mind, if it's not new, um, these actually have batteries in them. So you charge the battery, and the battery could be used to jump your car or motorcycle or boat or whatever. Um, so a lot of times when I've seen these, the batteries aren't good. So we'll test it and see how it works. But, I mean, for the price of getting a battery, a lot of times you can just buy a brand new one. We got a couple more pieces here. Oh, here's the tackle. Look at that. Nothing like the fishing tackle. Because that sails. And I will. Ooh. Now in the post it had said that there was uh, fishing rods in here that I did not see. Um, but we found them. So we're going to show you where those are in a quick second. Now I know I'm running through this pretty quickly. It is kind of a quick clean out. But the thing is, it's cold out here. It's snowing. Um, so... We only got a little bit of time before the sun runs out, so I'm trying to get you all the footage. So look at this. This was another reason we were looking at this, was the clothes. You know, I was looking at this unit and what kind of clothes are we gonna find? Because clothes sale, I'm not gonna turn that right side out, but here's Route 66. See, the thing with a unit like this, basic additions is this is what I was looking for right there Carhartt Carhartt sells work clothes um, and you would expect in a unit like this or I would hope that in a unit like this I can find some Carhartt some work clothes um, some Levi's um, you just don't know so you always got to be looking through the clothes and seeing if there's something worth value. And okay. we got, look, some more work clothes, Dickies. So Dickies is another brand, big around here at least. Um, what do we have in this? So one thing we've learned with clothes is you gotta go through them. Oh, look, here's another car har, but here's a rip. Oh, little distressed. But they're work jeans, so you just don't know. Somebody may still buy them. I mean, that could be worth still at least a $10 bill. Um, ideally, all somebody's doing is buying these for work. This is Dockers. You know, a um, little rough, but, you know, Dockers sell as well. At least we've had good luck selling Dockers. Um, so we got tons of clothes here to go through. Um, look at this. I don't know if we're going to find any good t-shirts, or is it all distressed? Look at that. Ooh. Oarsman, U.S. Air Force, distressed. Oh, here we are. Another pair of Carhar 3430s. And I saw this. How could you not like a unit when you see somebody took the time? To hang all their clothes up on the unit so uh, I saw the leather jackets uh, from the door now there is some stuff in here that we'll have to go through women's stuff or whatever but here's your camouflage that kind of stuff sells well this here is uh, let's see I don't know if you can see that <laughs> but it's Wilson's leather which is a good brand so and just flipping through these clothes a little bit here's another leather coat these are not worried about those oh 
here we are. Here's a North Face jacket. That's always a good brand right there. Here's a, what is this, Carhartt jacket? Look at that. There's the tag right there, Carhartt. More camouflage right here. So vintage actual Indians, because now they're not the Indians, they're the Guardians. But so <laughs> that could be some good money going through all of this and figuring that out. This is Urban Pipeline. We've had some good luck selling that. We're going to get a lot of this cleared up real quick so we can have a little more working room. All right, we're almost done. Uh, quick clean out. This is a 10 by 20, but since it was just along the perimeter, you saw what it looked like at the beginning. We're going to fit it all into our 5 by 10 trailer. So let's see what's left. We got some clothes. Dunbrook. Now this is a little dirty. We'll have to see if we can clean that up during this time of year. Definitely able to sell stuff like this. American Eagle. This is Puritan. This is weatherproof. WP. So, whoa, look at that. That is a big tank. <laughs> we got gauges here. Harris gauges. Wow. That's a huge tank. And it looks like this is probably for welding oxygen. Yeah, wow. I think we might have found our money right here. Well, first and foremost, we got an extension cord on this. This is a propane tank, so we're definitely getting propane out of that. Um, it doesn't seem like it's full. It might be empty, but wow, that's a big tank. I think we might be able to do something with that. We'll have to look that up. And here we got, this is a pressure washer. Um, but I don't see the hose for it, so here's a propane tank. These are always good because you can exchange them and get them filled for half the price than buying a new brand new one. Car ramps. Look at this. We got some shop lights. And I mentioned earlier about the fishing poles. Look at this. We have what? How many fishing holes did we just find here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight fishing rods with the reels. Wow. <laughs> That's funny right there. This is a Ray-Ban's case. Ray-Ban is actually not a bad brand. And oh, wow. These could be Ray-Ban's in there. Cartier. I don't know. But they're blinking. What do we have? This is a little tool set of yep, sockets. Um, looking for a name on them. I don't see a name besides Cal Forge. So that's probably it. We got a watch. Nothing on the back. Just says quartz. Here we are. Oh, we got some personal pictures. What else do we have in here? Um, huh. This is crazy. We got some easy widers. Oh. Okay, if you want to roll your own tobacco. Eh? nice little watch here um, there's a camera but that's about it in that one all right what's in here more personal um, so we got some file folders in here personal stuff we won't dig through all that uh, and more personal paperwork more paperwork, Napa catalog for sale. Let's 
this down here. Oh, that's an old book. Life of William McKinley. Wow. We'll have to pull that out and see what we got on that. What do we got? Binders and paperwork. Binders and paperwork. All right. And last but not least, more binders, more paperwork. All right. We'll have to look at this better and just make sure nothing's hidden in amongst all of this. So we did the first cabinet. Let's look at the second tool cabinet, see if we can find something good. Because we got stuff. I can see stuff in the drawers. What do we have? Um, so I see a couple wrenches, and we're always looking for craftsmen. This actually says Snap-on. You know, these Snap-on tools go for a lot of money on eBay. So... <laughs> I am not going to continue with that. That's one of the name brands we're looking for. Snap on. We're looking for Craftsman. We're looking for Mac. We're looking for Matco. Those type tools are the tools that sell very well, especially on eBay. What do we have in here? We have some cutters and some wrenches. More pennies. <laughs> Look at that. I think we're going to be taking our pennies to the bank this time. What is this? This is uh, that's a husky tool, so that probably went in that toolbox that was broken. What do we have in here? Drop forge. Here's Craftsman. Um, Burlas, husky. So what I tend to do in my sales is I pull out and make Craftsman lots, or if it's snap on or whatever, you know, if I got enough. Um, but Craftsman always goes by itself because Craftsman tools sell. They are worth money, money, and more money. So I can see these are vintage old tools for like, like you know, back in the 30s, 40s, 50s. Um, so yeah, we'll be looking through all of that, pulling out the Craftsman. We've got wire cutters. We just had these in our last, not the sale ending today, but... We, we broke those up in lots, and uh, yeah, people buy those. those the, the cutting blade part of it gets ruined very quickly, depending on what you're cutting. Here's screwdrivers. I always do screwdriver lots, and again, Craftsman stuff, I always pull out. What do we have here? Oh, these are, if I'm correct, welding rods. Yeah, we'll have to double check that. I mean, so we just have a, a bunch of tools that we'll be breaking these apart, selling the tool chest separately. Here's the ribbing tool. Here's some more pneumatic tools. What is this one? This looks like it's a Campbell house felt. So I was going to say it looked like it might have been hard to break, but it wasn't. Nice. Um, so yeah, look at that. I mean, we're just, it's just loaded down. Oh man, this is another one. These tools like here, these pipe wrenches. Whoa. I mean, these can sell very well on eBay. It's a big box, it's 24 inch, depending on the company name. Like we have a vintage Craftsman that we have recently or Ridge, these sell well used or not. Because you can actually replace these bottom pieces to the plier, so or, or to the wrench, but it's what? Look at that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I see eight of them in here. Various sizes, most of them large. Like, wow, that's money right there. That is definitely money. And this is a pneumatic sander, so. Yeah, that's heavy. That's going to be a rough box to move with everything in it, but we're going to get it done. And look at this. I've noticed that this is actually on here. I thought this was a separate little, little cabinet, but it's hanging on the toolbox. See, we got the light out um, on, so let's get into it. So this is a propane... So we got some utensils in there, but this is a little propane turkey cooker and some top, um, stock pots. 
So that's actually not a bad deal right there. What do we got in here? Let's see. Got an old book. There's somebody's bank card, so we'll hide that. I see we're getting into more paperwork in this files. So what we, we got to learn from the office is um, they just couldn't pay for it anymore. So there was no real reason. The owner said, you know what? He knew that it was going to auction and he was letting it go. So I did tell the office anything personal. We, we could get back to them and they'd get it to them and they said yes. So you see some personal pictures in here. Um, see, we got a high school diploma so that was a uh, class of 1981 so we'll make sure that gets back um, the mighty Shefton so we got some well, somebody was definitely collecting change and cigarette butts what do we have in here Paperwork. Tons of paperwork. It's just an empty binder. All right. Not going to go through all that. What do we have down here? Ooh, Bruce Springsteen. What is that? Oh, this could be worth some money right here. Ooh, this is box. compact disc. Can't seem to get it open with these gloves on. What am I missing there? There we go. Wow. Here's the booklet. Oh, I see one of the discs right there. Wow. Wow, this is the set right here. We'll have to check that out. I bet that's worth some money. And what else do we have down here? Here's another one Bruce Springsteen Bruce Springsteen oh wow so we got a couple little things down there for Bruce Springsteen not only that sometimes these little geos right here can be worth some money so that could be a nice find I don't know how much they're worth but definitely look into it these are just gaskets looks like a door between like the car door here's the belt for the engine you know so car parts what's in this right here Amazon fire stick directions empty that looked like it was like a zippo lighter box yep not much on there and we got clothes again. I saw this stack, so you just never know what you find. America. Um, I saw jeans, and you just never know what kind of jeans. These are Dickies. This is Under Armour. A lot of pilling on that, though. These are Lee jeans. Now what we're really looking for is like work jeans, Wrangler, they're okay, but really what we're looking for is Levi's. Levi's are definitely your um, brand that you're really looking for. Basic Editions, George, so these are Walmart. So this here is a little air tank. So basically what you do is let's say you know somebody that uh, loses, um, gets a flat tire, loses the air in their tire, and they need it pumped up. They give you a call. Like I used to do this back in the day. You go over to the gas station, fill this up, and then you can go fill their tire up to help them out. At least that's one use I did. I used it for. This looks like it's a gas tank. Don't know what kind of car. What do we have in here? 
Hmm. I'm not sure, is this what I think it is for putting your clothes in? No. Not sure what this is for. That looks like some car carpet. But it's in a nice bag. <laughs> That's for sure. And then we got one of these. Like, this is awesome. So you want to dry your floor real quick and it's winter time. We can use this tomorrow if that works. We'll plug it in. We have our pickup, so. And this looks like it's a hoist. A little tripod. Hold like an engine holder or something to do with uh oh look at that. Here we are with, again. That's outdoor life. Whoa. This has some weight. I have a feeling this has gas in it. You know, wow. And I don't know. But it has some weight, so these will definitely be worth checking into. All right, I'll that's it. We're cold. It's freezing out here. We didn't went through everything. Quick clean out. We're all done. I'm surprised it all fit in the trailer with room to spare. We're going to get out of here. Hey, if you haven't done it yet, don't forget to subscribe to see more. And why not share?